Hi, Pep Star. This is Bowen from Pet Practice. In today's video, we're going to look at the 2023 Language Arts Grade 5 Performance Task. Let's get to the paper. So each of the performance tasks is one hour and 30 minutes. So we're doing part one, part one, part one has four questions. So that's what will be included in this video. Introduction to task. A student was asked to conduct a research on the importance of eating breakfast in the mornings. She found two sources. Source one is a table showing the effect of eating breakfast in the morning on a group of students. Source two is an article. Table showing the effect of eating breakfast in the morning on a group of students. I tell me the so how often students eat breakfast? Never. Some percent of students never eat breakfast and they don't set the time um the food eating because they never eat it and their mood is generally sleepy throughout the day and their performance at school is poor. Students who eat breakfast sometimes are 56%, and these are the foods they eat, and they're usually moody, and their performance is fairly good. And students, 37% of students always eat breakfast, and these are the foods they eat, and their mood is alert, and they do good in school, their performance. First two, breakfast. Mmm. When you think about breakfast, you probably think about food that is yummy in your tummy. But breakfast is so much more than eating delicious food. A breakfast gives you the energy you need to get things done throughout the day. It also helps you to focus at school or work. No wonder it's the most important meal of the day. Think about it. If your last meal before bed was at 9 p.m. and you woke up at 5 a.m. the next day, you have been fasting for eight hours. That's a long time. So when you eat something in the morning, you have broken your fasting. Hence the name breakfast. Breakfast also gives you a chance to get some vitamins and nutrients from healthy food groups like dairy, grain, and fruit. If you don't eat breakfast, you aren't likely to get all of the nutrients your body needs at the time of the day. Plus, the body absorbs food when eating in the morning. So that's another reason to include healthy foods in your breakfast. Sometimes you may not feel like eating in the morning, but it's important that you do. Your growing bodies need nutrients and fuel. If you don't eat in the morning, 
you may have a harder time focusing and may become more tired in school. You may also feel grumpy or restless, and it is just the baby in the back. and may become more tired in school. You may also feel grumpy or restless, and it isn't just your mood that can suffer. Your schoolwork may be affected too. One study showed that students who ate breakfast are more likely to take part in extracurricular activities. If you don't feel like eating, in the morning, while at home, pack something you can have on your way to school. Choose a fruit, nut, or an egg sandwich. That's a sure way to break the fasting in a healthy and convenient way. Part one, according to source one, what percentage of students never eat breakfast? I can't remember. Um, 7%. 7. Mm -hmm. Can I show you in a few minutes? 7% of students never eat. Yeah. Pass. And you can write it in um sentence form just for the purpose of the video. I'm just writing the answer. So here it is. In search to the phrase fasting for eight hour means. So fasting is when you go without food. So you can say not eating for eight hours or going without food for eight hours, all right? I'm just gonna put going out without or not eating food. Not eating food for eight. Hours. Again, you can just put these in sentence, full sentence. With rephrasing the question. Number three, read the three questions below, then share the option that indicates the source from which the answer may be found. Which source or sources indicate or provide evidence that provide evidence of sorry the effect that eating breakfast can have on students and it's both sources. I remember both sources talk about the effect of breakfast. Which source has information that suggests that most Students eat breakfast in the morning. Let's go back to the sources.
I'm just reading through to see if that was shared. Say, I'm not seeing anything so far in source two. Let's look at source one. All right, so 56 persons the back for some time. And 36 students eat. Always. So that's most, that's majority of the persons. Whether they eat it sometimes or all the time, that means they still eat breakfast. So far, it looks like source one. All right, so I'll do source one only. Which source uses cause and effect as a text feature? And it's both sources. Both sources talks about. So even when it talks about the students being moody, the cause, not eating breakfast, the effect being moody. So both of them talked about cause and effect. The table shows the effect of eating breakfast. And in search two, they give statements that talks about it. All right, write two pieces of evidence, one from source one and one from source two, which supports the idea that eating breakfast can affect your mood. And this is an example of cause and effect because the cause eating breakfast and whatever mood it has on you. Uh, what effect it has on your mood, sorry. So let's look at source one for the information. For this paper, you had to understand the concept of cause and effect because we've seen a lot of that coming up. All right, so we try the cause and effect here. That if you eat breakfast, it shows you here. If you eat breakfast, you're alert. Or if you always eat breakfast, you will be alert. Sometimes the attitude will be moody. And if you never eat breakfast, you're going to be sleepy. So let's go back to the question. All right, for sort one, I can see in that um, that eating breakfast can affect your mood. So, eating, everything from sort one says eating breakfast can make you.
had to learn to at school, right? And it's a second from side school. Let's say in the area it should be a U. All right, so let's go back to source two. We find that evidence.
If you don't eat in the mornings, you may have a hard time focusing and um, may become tired at school. Um, tired at school. That's um something there. But the part of the thing is you may also feel grumpy or restless. That, that is specifically related to your mood. Let's just go back to the source. All right, so that's the only information I'm seeing in source two that talks about mood. And for source one, you could use either, All right? You could either use if the person, you could talk about any of these moods, right? Because each of them talks about Eating breakfast are the lack of eating breakfast. So let's just look back at the evidence we wrote. We said eating breakfast can make you alert. So that affects your mood because it makes you alert and then. You may also feel grumpy or restless um, when you don't eat breakfast. Um, it says the detail from the source. So you normally keep the evidence as is from the source. But you can just add something to it. It's free. Because this sentence alone doesn't really express 
what makes you grumpy or re re restless. So you can say, you may also feel grumpy or restless when you don't eat very fast. And that should suffice. All right, so I think all my four questions are finished for part one. So there you have it. That's the end of part one. Pretty manageable. In the next video, we're going to look at part two, which is the essay writing. So you also want to watch that video because it shows the entirety of the 2023 language arts paper. All right, so there you have it. I'll see you in the next video.